I could actually argue that it hurts the game more if they had given her a roster spot over someone more deserving. So go ahead and argue it. That's exactly what I'm Are saying, you, you, because I ahead, think you, it makes a mockery okay. of the women's game. If the focus on, OK, cool. now we just have to have people because of marketing and their attention and they're not as talented. And we're not putting the best team out there. This is what she did. Like mm -hmm. somebody's like, oh, I haven't heard from anybody. But to be honest with you, I shut my phone off after work. Yeah. So I was just in I was just in chill mode. And spending time on the bench, what is the conversation going to be about the entire time the Olympics is going on? Why isn't Caitlin getting more minutes? Why isn't Caitlin playing? I'm sure people will tune in, but what will the conversation be then? You know why we didn't do a better job of promoting the WNBA? Because the numbers, the eyeballs, the interest, the sizzle, the headlines were not there. No one cared. The public didn't care. And they so now determined. you have somebody. And so now you have somebody that has the world caring. And you say to her, well, you know what? We want to make purely basketball decisions. Once again, we're back with another insane news drop in the WNBA. And this time, someone has gotten fired because they just couldn't stop hating on the legendary Caitlin Clark. ESPN recently fired Molly Kiram, which caused a heated debate among WNBA fans, critics, and pretty much everybody else. Commentators went crazy after hearing the news, and the only question was, did Molly Kiram really get fired? To make purely basketball decisions, it's the right <laughs> thing to do, and we gotta be worried about how other people are going to feel. But you're still complaining about the max salary being 250000 You're still complaining about the absence of eyeballs. You're still complaining about the lack of headlines and notoriety and pub and cachet. You're complaining about all of these things. Molly Karam some crazy remarks about Caitlin Clark when she said that Clark was nothing but a seat filler for the WNBA. She seemed to be salty because Caitlin Clark's popularity brought in thousands of spectators to the arenas where she played and in Karam's books. It's not because of her insane talent. Molly has been a fixture on ESPN's First Take show for years. She has been talking about sports and WNBA for a long time, and ever since Clark started to come up as the most incredible talent in modern-day women's basketball, it seems that she struck a nerve and Molly Kiram is throwing tantrum fits because of it. Just like you'd win by 30 with her. It don't make a difference. You make the call because of the betterment of the whole in the end. That is not compromising your integrity. That is business, and y'all are going to find that out. There are always politics involved when you're putting together a team. Nevertheless, there are many fans and admirers of Clark who have openly supported her, and one of them is Stephen A. Smith. Stephen confronted Molly Kiram and argued that Clark had worked insanely hard to reach the point where she is, and it is not because she is white or anything but purely because she plays basketball better than any other woman on the league right now. She is breaking records that were set decades ago by WNBA veterans, and this is what makes her the greatest. But for Molly Kiram, this isn't acceptable. She argues that Clark's basketball skills are not as good as her marketing skills. She is just a marketing puppet that everyone hypes because it brings in more views. But these statements quickly sparked a ton of back Backlash from Clark's fans and supporters online. I just want to make sure I'm clear, Andrea Carter. It's good to see you, by the way. Arrah, arrah. When we talk about politics, right? What we're basically saying the things that are not related to basketball itself, mm -hmm. other ancillary things on the outside that contribute to formulating a rock. The fans took to social media and expressed their disappointment and anger, saying that Curiam is an arrogant rude, an unhinged commentator who keeps on insulting Clark because she just doesn't like the fact that a white player is running circles around the black players who just can't manage to reach her level. Formulating a roster. Are you saying here over the national airwaves that that actually happens, that that happens all the time? It does. Yes, okay. sometimes it works uh, in players' favors, okay. sometimes it doesn't. That's what I heard I'm saying. You. I heard you. I heard you. I'm going someplace. So why was it a problem? Additionally, Kiram's remarks also faced a ton of criticism because she was giving rise to a toxic thing of the past using female athletes as marketing objects rather than recognizing them for their talents. For Clark's supporters, this was an all-too-familiar story, and they were not going to let this slide. When I pointed out uh, don't how do that. Caitlin Clark We're still on vacation. should have been on Team USA because I was saying it ain't about basketball. It's about marketing. It's about I politics. Think... I'm saying, no, 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 no. I'm saying, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not 
saying you're refuting anything like that. I'm simply making the point. As soon as the outrage on social media started to gain traction, reports spread that Molly Kareem had been fired from ESPN. This was literally breaking news because for the first time, a sports channel as big as ESPN caved in due to pressure from Caitlin Clark's fans and let go of one of their own. But at the same time, the question lingered on was she really fired? ESPN is yet to release an official statement regarding this news. However, many sources claim that the stories of Molly Kirim being fired or sacked are entirely untrue. They are just rumors spread by enthusiastic WNBA fans to create unnecessary hype. I must say, Shay Shay, I, I'm disappointed in you. And, and, and Molly, I'm disappointed in you. I'm just, uh, because we admit this first. What time. happened? But wait a minute. If she isn't fired and the rumors are spreading, why hasn't ESPN debunked these rumors by making a statement? Are they waiting for the storm to settle or could there be some truth to these rumors? Bear in mind that over the years, ESPN has had its share of problems. Stephen A. Smith made some comments about domestic abuse, Jamela Hill made some political statements, and a lot more have made the channel part of controversies time and again. The thing is, they always seem to come out and support their own. But this time, they have not done anything for the support of Molly Kiram. What did, what did I say? I mean, uh, who's the bad guy, Shay Shay? It me. It me. We were the bad guy, Shay Shay. Me and you, we were talking about this girl, Caitlin Clark. Oh, let, 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 me, throw, let me throw this out. Oh, By the way, what did you Wasn't there anybody discussion. didn't think Ain't she no was going to be successful or not play? It was just that we felt the other players in the W deserve shine as well. M Molly, Molly. I said, really, Molly? Wow. Year. We, really? they jumped on us. They jumped on us, Molly. They jumped on us as a show. They jumped on us as a show when we were talking about it. Caitlin Clark, all the ladies out there, I, 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 I love them. Monica, Andrea, Janae, all of you. Now, the biggest thing is that Caitlin Clark is the center of this issue. Her immense talent and the impact she has made on women's basketball have earned her comparisons to the most legendary players in basketball history, such as LeBron James and even Steph Curry. Caitlin Clark for a second. Here, okay, there is no question. The race for rookie of the year is over. After what they did to the sky, after they won their fourth straight, after they're over 500, they were just 500 the other day for the first time in two years when they were two and two. These they, they doing their thing. And Caitlin Clark, last 12 games, 23.4 points of 47 percent shooting. Moreover, her influence goes beyond the basketball court. She has completely redefined the WNBA, made it more popular than it ever was, and her mere participation in a game draws more fans than we see in any other big league games. Therefore, calling her a seat filler and implying that she is not a good basketball player but just a good marketing tool is extremely insulting. She has single-handedly taken her team from the bottom of the ranks all the way to the top. She is the rookie of the year. She is the only rookie to have two triple doubles. And to add a cherry on top, she has the highest collective points in WNBA history. I mean, she literally scored 35 points in a game just a few days ago against the Wings. This is exactly why she attracts a lot of attention and, with that, a lot of criticism and hate. Leads the lead. She's the league assist leader, okay? Nine and three since July 6th, third best record in the WNBA over this time behind Minnesota and the New York Liberty. And I already added that they won four straight. And then the sixth seed, just two and a half games out of the fifth seed. Caitlin Clark has been flat out balling. Nevertheless, it does not justify an experienced expert like Molly Kiram making such a below the belt statement. Many are saying that she made a mistake and that she did not mean to insult Clark. But let's face reality for a second. She never liked Caitlin Clark to begin with. She has been criticizing her from the get-go. So I guess we're way past the idea that she made a mistake. She didn't. She meant to call Clark a marketing tool. And for that, she is facing the right amount of criticism and backlash. At least that is what I think. And she has elevated her level of play to a point. There is no debate. I understand Angel Reese has been doing a thing with the double-doubles, like 24 straight double-doubles and all yep. this. Major props to her, and she deserves – she's going to be number two. But Caitlin Clark going to win Rookie of the Year. Caitlin Clark is in the conversation. She ain't going to win it. Well, the dispute is ongoing, and everybody is waiting for ESPN to step up and clear the air about whether Molly Kiram has been fired from the job or is just a rumor that has spread like wildfire. However, the more important question is whether this will affect Clark's career in any way. Will she break down or will she continue dominating the sport as always? All of these questions need to be addressed immediately, and the only way is for ESPN to make a clear statement about Molly Kiram's situation. Eyeballs are going to tune in. People are going to be clamoring. Let me get my popcorn ready to see Caitlin Clark ride the bench. No. no. But I would no. But, 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 but first of all, it's two points to that. 
Number one, we don't know if she's going to ride the bench. That's number one. Well, so and they're, number they're two, put out while we wait for a response from ESPN, one thing is for sure. This scandal has only sparked a debate about the role of media and how it shapes public opinions of female athletes. Only a few sportswomen have reached the heights of success as Caitlin Clark. And the way the media is showing her, it seems that her haters are getting more recognition than the supporters. Thankfully, she is so good at the game that no matter what controversy, rumors, or hate is spread against her, she dominates the games and makes headlines over and over again, reigniting the love her fans already have for her. At this point, I think Molly Kiram should step up and either apologize or openly accept that she did, in fact, intend to insult Caitlin Clark by calling her a seat filler. Needed on the court and more minutes are required of her, I know she will do her best, I know she's talented but she's not strong enough and she doesn't have enough experience right now to compete. Feels like no she's schedule. already America's darling, like America's favorite daughter, the rating, Ooh, everyone. She's been that. Caitlin but, Clark, like no so, matter what, America's like, already So we talk about her. championship. But, but Paige Becker. Let me know what you think about this situation. Should ESPN publicly sack Molly Kiram for this insulting and demeaning statement she made against a superstar of the WNBA? Or does this statement have any other meaning that isn't as harsh as comprehended? Share your opinion down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.